Hi, I'm Abby. And I'm Sarah. Today we are going to be talking about the five freedoms for animals. The same way humans have rights, so do our pets. Unlike me and you though, animals can ask for things or go to the store. So it is up to you to provide for these things as family and caregivers. At JHS, we have teams working together to ensure that the pets are happy and cared for by thinking of these freedoms. The first freedom is freedom from hunger and thirst. The important thing to remember is that dog food should always be healthy and full of vitamins a dog needs. They should also have fresh water. There, here at JHS, water is consistently refilled and we have great food stocked in our storeroom. Next is freedom from discomfort by having a comfortable bed and a place that is just their own. Dogs should have a bed that is large enough for them and somewhere to escape when life gets loud. These are our kennels where most of the dogs reside here at JHS. It can be a stressful environment for most animals, so it is important that they have a comfortable place to sleep and hang out. The kennels at JHS are a place that, they, that the animals can call their home. For the animals that may be struggling to adapt to shelter life, or for our longer stay dogs, we also have sweets available. Our third freedom is freedom from pain and injury. You have to take your dog to the vet in order to make sure that they are healthy. This can reduce unnecessary stress. They can give your dog vaccines to prevent illness, but also treat other things that may come up. Vets are an important part of your dog's well-being, and your pets rely on you to get them there. This is our JHS hospital. This is where sick or injured pets from the shelter are cared for. We have amazing doctors and techs like Dr. Hill and his team. They do amazing things for the dogs and cats that come in from amputations to vaccinations and everything in between. Freedom to express normal behavior is next. Dogs should be able to do all the things they are naturally wanting to do, like chew on toys and be social with, e with either dogs or people. Braided toys are dog toys that you can make at home for your dog. Um, so the first step is that you cut up an old blanket into strips. The second step is to knot the very top of it. Then you braid. <laughs> then at the very bottom, you're going to want to tie the knot again. There we have it, a toy so your dog can play with. The final freedom is freedom from fear and distress. Pets should not be put into situations that make them feel uncomfortable. We try to give pets everything they need here at JHS to be happy and stress-free. We do many forms of arrangement, but the best way you could help with this freedom is to come down to JHS and adopt today. Thank you for watching our special on the five freedoms. We hope it makes you think about how you can make more of a difference in your dog's life.